Our best meal prep vegan lunch is this Asian-inspired instant noodle soup. A no-fuss, three-ingredient paste, your favorite veggies and protein, store it in your fridge, take it to work, add hot water, and enjoy. Meal prep. I'll admit I am not the best at meal prep, and if you're like me, you should hit that subscribe button below. And if you're more prepared than I am, then you should hit that subscribe button below. <laughs> I'm Catherine, and I tend to fly by the day-to-day -day whimsy of my cravings, but this is one meal that is so easy to prepare in advance and so much fun to eat that I do actually succeed in meal prep with this one. If you're working from home and you don't have much time to cook on a quick lunch break, or if you're going into work or school and you have access to a kettle, then this is a lunch for you. What do you need? Well, if you've seen my pantry tour video, you will know that I strive to stock as few condiments in my fridge as possible. So check out that video to see... Oh yeah. Check out that video to see how I... Oh. <laughs> How I manage to not meal prep, but always have simple essentials on hand that make it quick and easy to throw together delicious meals. Let's see if I can get this section out a little smoother. Three of those go-to condiments are miso paste, chili garlic sauce, and tamari or soy sauce. And you can see how much I like them because these bottles are almost empty. And these three ingredients combine to create a salty, spicy, flavorful broth. Tamari is a gluten-free soy sauce that adds a nice salty, savory flavor and it gives great color to the broth. Miso paste also contributes to that salty, savory flavor and it helps to thicken the broth as well. And chili garlic sauce is my go-to hot sauce. I love that it combines garlic and chilies all in one sauce and it adds a ton of flavor and a nice bit of kick. If you're worried about the amount of sodium in these ingredients, then feel free to reduce the amount that you use or take my recipe as inspiration and create a flavor profile with ingredients that you love that will dissolve into a nice broth. Next, noodles. These vermicelli rice noodles often come in these convenient 50 gram portions. Sometimes I see them as a circular disc and sometimes they're folded like this, but these are so great because you don't even have to boil them to cook them. You can just boil hot water, pour the boiling water over top of the noodles, let them soak in that hot water for three to five minutes, and then they're ready to enjoy. And for the really creative part, all your favorite veggies, protein sources, and any other fun ingredients you want to add in. I nearly always season tofu, but I actually love that I can just throw cubed extra firm tofu into this soup. It takes on the flavor of the broth and it's a fuss-free protein source. Thicker vegetables like carrots or broccoli I tend to thinly slice and sturdy leafy greens like bok choy are great because they wilt but they hold their structure. Things like bean sprouts, bamboo shoots, enoki mushrooms, snow peas or even snap peas are delicate and thin enough to cook quickly in the hot broth. And for some fun additions, seaweed snack sheets and chopped peanuts are always a go-to. Now that you know what can go in it, Let's prep it. To make this instant noodle soup the perfect meal prep lunch that you can take to work, use a large glass jar with a clamp lid. This one is one liter or another heat proof container. Add one to one and a half teaspoons miso paste, half a teaspoon chili garlic sauce, and one to one and a half tablespoons tamari or soy sauce. Add 50 grams dry rice vermicelli noodles, your veggies of choice. I'm using some sliced carrots, broccoli, bok choy, snow peas, bean sprouts, and enoki mushrooms. 100 grams extra firm tofu, and I'll top it off with a couple seaweed snack sheets and some chopped peanuts. Store this in your fridge, take it with you to work, and when you're ready to enjoy it, boil water in your kettle and add the boiling hot water to your noodle bowl. Give it a stir to dissolve the miso and chili garlic sauce and break apart the rice noodles. Wait three to five minutes until the noodles have softened and the veggies are tender and enjoy. This is pretty cool, right? And my favorite part about this meal prep lunch is that you can not only change the ingredients and quantities to suit your preference, you can also customize each portion if you're making this for one or more other people. And Brian likes this one liter portion. 500 ml jar wouldn't be quite as filling of a lunch for him, but he's six feet and I'm 5'3", so I tend to have a smaller appetite at lunch and I usually have all the ingredients. So I'm going to make mine here and usually if I'm working from home, then I just prep everything while I'm boiling my water and I usually use a deep bowl like this. And I am going to use, just a moment, <laughs> I'm gonna use 
just half a teaspoon of miso paste in mine. I used about one to one and a half for Brian. I am going to use though the full half a teaspoon of chili garlic sauce because I like the extra spice. And I usually use about oh, one, three quarters of a tablespoon of tamari for mine. I usually try to have the noodles and when I buy them in a disc, then that is pretty easy to do. They break easily. These not so much. So I'm going to have an extra noodley soup today. I am allergic to broccoli and bok choy, so I'm going to leave those out of my soup and just use some carrots. What else do I want? This is so much fun. I'll do some, which ones are these? Snap peas. Does anyone else have trouble knowing which ones are snap peas and which ones are snow peas? These are the thicker ones. I think they're snap peas. What else do I want? I'm gonna use enoki mushrooms. Also like one of my favorite mushrooms. These are so cool. Some bean sprouts. And I'm going to put some bamboo shoots in mine, which I didn't put in Brian's. I'll top it off with some tofu, seaweed snack sheets, some peanuts, because I'm Catherine and they're peanuts and we are a good match. And I'm gonna grab my water. I'm probably using about, whoops, so graceful. <laughs> when I don't plan things, this is what you see. <laughs> I'm probably using about one and a half to two cups of water, whereas Brian's one liter portion is more like three and a half to four cups of water. And I'll just stir this around, break apart the noodles, and in a few minutes, I will have a flavorful, filling, veggie-packed lunch. If you're prepping this a couple days in advance, just make sure that the ingredients you're using are going to hold up well in your jar. Out of everything I have here, and as much as I love of bean sprouts. They do tend to spoil quite quickly, so keep that in mind. This meal prep friendly instant noodle soup bowl is so much fun to eat, and it costs us about $2.75 for the larger portion that I made for Brian. If we were to buy a store-bought instant noodle soup bowl, they cost us about $1.79 to $2.99. So this veggie-packed recipe is linked below for you, and make sure that you leave me a comment I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Make sure you leave me a comment and let me know what fun ingredients you put in your noodle soup. I hope you liked this episode. Please subscribe, turn on those notifications, and join me every Sunday at 5 p.m. Next Sunday, the Oscars are airing, so we're gonna have a movie-themed episode. I'm gonna show you how to pop popcorn in a pot on your stovetop, make it look and taste like movie theater popcorn, and I'll give you all my tips for seasonings. So I'll see you then. Hasta la vista, baby. That didn't sound like Schwarzenegger. Hasta la vista, <laughs> <laughs> baby.